Hello, this is Blaine Gray for Plastering for Beginners and today we're going to talk about extra time. So plaster or retardant and it's designed to give you more time with your mix and your plastering. So as you can see, I've just literally put it into my mix. I'm going to mix it up. I actually used two sachets. This is about two and a half bags I've got in here. Maybe a bit more. And they recommend it's one sachet per 25 kilogram bag of plaster. Um, so I've done quite a wet mix, like this is my first time I've ever used it, I've never done it before, so I was actually a bit dubious, um, but I got a big mix on, it's not a massive job, but I thought I'd try it on something smaller before I relied on it to do, say, a big ceiling or a huge set of walls, so I thought, you know, if I give it a go on a smaller room, see how it sits, so as you can see, the mix is quite wet, it's probably a bit wetter than usual, um, not for any reason, just because I've mixed it slightly runnier than usual and as you can see I'm just troweling the plaster on obviously this is the first coat, I've literally just mixed it so everything's good there got plenty of time and um, basically what my aim of this video was I was going to see if I could mix a big batch up apply my first coat, flatten it and then apply my second coat directly onto it and that's for one of two reasons one, to see how far the plaster will go and how long it lasts. And two, just because it was a smaller job, I actually I thought what would be a good idea if we just got a big mix on. Save time by mixing up two batches of plaster and save energy and save walking through the house with lots of buckets of water. Um, I don't really like doing it. They didn't have an outside tap. The only water supply was from the kitchen. So if I could get one mix on and get away with it, I'd be happy with that. So that's what the score is. As you can see, I'm still applying a plaster, and my main aim is to get this room done. So obviously, we're dealing with a lot of wet angles here. So on a side note, outside of the extra time product, when you are applying a plaster, try not to be too heavy-handed on the corners, and try not get too much excess plaster there. It just makes your job harder when it comes to future stages of you know getting your edges clean getting them straight, getting them looking nice. You want to try and minimise as much work at the early stages as possible. And as you can see when I'm plastering the corners, I come slightly away from the actual internal, internal corner and then fill in the edges after. It just saves me getting too much clumps on the, um, on the internals there. And it just makes your life a lot easier when it comes down to using it. Um, so that's a few tips there, but this is back to the product. As you can see, loads of time, it's not setting, it's not getting thick, I've got a good few walls on now but I'm still still as wet as just when I started pretty much. So now what I've done is I've applied all the plaster and here's another quick tip. I always use a speed skim, the plastic one, just before I put on my second coat because if it's wet the, uh, the moisture can get trapped between the next coat of plaster and it creates little bubbles. You might have seen it if you've plastered before. You get these tiny little air pockets and they're an absolute nightmare to get rid of. The only thing you can do is cut them back future stages. So what I do is the speed skim allows you to go directly, your second coat directly on top of the plaster as soon as you've flattened it with this. So obviously it makes your walls flatter but it also adds for, adds for the functionality of allowing you to plaster directly onto that coat otherwise you might get the air pockets that we were talking about and you don't want that so now second coat of plaster 35 minutes in I'm going to give you a quick little um, quick little measure on how the plaster doing as you can see it's it's taken up slowly but it's still got lots of room there a lot of um, potential for applying the plaster and look it's just as good as if it was brand new look it's I'm applying it nicely, it's no pressure, you know, it's not taking up, it's not too hard to to um, to apply. So, so far, so good. In terms of me and my progress, I was quite happy at this stage. You always get the fear, don't you, trying a new product, whether it'll work or, you know, if it's going to if it's gonna be useful. And you always get the fear, if, if it doesn't work, you could potentially ruin a good day's work. So yeah, that's that really. And a bit more of an aside note, this is obviously me applying the plaster, but if you wanted a more in-depth uh, training, there's a link below this video. You can sign up to our welcome course. It's on our website. 
and we'll basically get you through the whole stages of plastering, show you everything you need to do and it's ideal for people starting out. So let's see if this actually works, back to the product now. So 54 minutes in as you can see, let's have a look how it is. It's, it's taken up but you could still spread that, I could easily still spread that. You know, that's 54 minutes in. Usually you're looking about 30, 35 minutes and your plaster would be going hard by now. This is now a 20. It's very stiff now, but still, you know, push comes to shove. I could definitely apply that to a wall or a ceiling. So an hour and 20 minutes, that's the first mix. It's definitely doing a good job in it. It's working. Uh, you definitely wouldn't get that without the extra time. I'd say that's given us an extra 45 minutes. And I probably put a small amount than what I should have put in compared to their um, recommendations. And as you can see, I don't need to use any water. I'm flattening it. This is about an hour and 30 minutes in. No water needed. It's literally charling up nicely. And it's not one bit of um, one, one bit of pressure there needed. I'm just charling it in. And you can still see it's nice and wet. Easy to work with. So it's definitely doing its job so far. So that's that. You know, it's working well. And as always... It's good to test these things out because you never know when you're going to need a helping hand. You know, usually if I can't do a big ceiling on my own or, you know, I've got a huge job on, I'd have to pay someone else. Whereas now I can consider throwing a few bags of these um, extra times in. And, you know, it saved me it saved me a few quid and obviously make more on a job. Um, or say if you've got, a, you know, a bigger hit and you don't want to be stressing so much about it, you can rely on this to give you more time. And, you know, it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice helping hand, isn't it? You know, the more time you have, the less you've got to worry about getting it right or rushing around to try and um, solve the problem of trying to get all your plaster one in in one hit. So as you can see, it's flattening nicely. It's I've, my other fear was whether it'd react strange. You know, if it do something to the plaster or it'd give it a strange effect. And I'll be honest, it's the exact same um, with and without it, except you've got more time, obviously. Um, so here's the final timings. We're 3 hours 43 minutes in, um, you know, this is from one mix, I didn't mix two batches, this is how long it's taken the plaster to take up, so you know, imagine if we did do two mixes, both with extra time, it'd easily take you to four and a half hours, probably five hours, you know, if you, that's how much time you could potentially be having from your mix, um, my standard set is about three and a half hours, I mean, if we're following by these guidelines, we could easily be looking at four and a half, five hours um, for a hit. Um, so this is the tr final trowel. I'm doing a cross trowel now, and this is literally, literally the dry trowel that I'm doing. It's final stages of plastering, um, and as you can see, it's it's come on nicely. We've not had to worry about the finish or worry about the plaster reacting strangely to it. You know, you hear about these things sometimes, and it's just been a dream to work with. To be fair, um, so. You know, if you're out there worrying about a big ceiling or a big a big job, you know you can rely on this. We've tested it. It's doing the right thing. Um, you know, and it's like I said, it's easily added another hour on. If I did two mixes, it'd easily be about four and a half hours. So that's that, you know. Three hours, 54 minutes. Job's done. All the corners done. That's all the room, all the reveals. And, you know, it's cracking product. I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking it went well. Obviously they know what they're doing. I'm not endorsed by these people at all. Um, I literally just did it out of curiosity and I must say that I'm very pleased with the results and it definitely works. So you know if you're out there looking for a big job and you need a bit of a helping hand this stuff definitely works. So that's it. Thanks for watching. It's Blaine Grey Plastering for Beginners. Sorry about my voice. It's gone a little bit but um. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it and please subscribe. Thank you.